When you hear a story, you want to know how it ends, right? Bonus, if there's a happy ending. Well, this is Bear. He's looking very happy. He is. We've been here playing with him. And that is probably because he is safe and he is the new ambassador for the City of Mobile Animal Services. You guys have never had an ambassador, right? Not in recent history, no. <laughs> so here we go. Shelter Director Robert Bryant and Shelter Volunteer and Animal Advocate Martin Miller brought Bear in for us to meet. What a big journey this big guy has had that so many of us have been following. Now we want to talk about him not only being the ambassador, but Bear has a new last name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking Jeez. him home. He has my last name now, yeah, his name is <laughs> Miller. Um, Robert and I, we uh, talked at length about what we wanted to do with beer. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Trying to find a good home for a dog that's garnered this much publicity is always a big deal. There's going to be a ton of people that want to take him home. Yeah. And in this particular case, we got to thinking about it, and really, who better than one of the team members that spent so much time in mm -hmm. trying to get him off the streets in the first place? I mean... After all, Martin was the one that snatched the box off of his head when we <laughs> finally got it off. So, but that's not to say that I was like just taking the dog home. Obviously, we have a strict, you know, application policy. Um, Robert made sure that we done a behaviour test with my dogs and that everything was fine there. My yard was big enough for a, a horse this size as well. <laughs> so um, he's trying he's to get the box <laughs> out of here. This is the box, Robert. You have that box that came off of Bear's head last month. In this story, yes, yeah, so many of us were following for so long because this sweet guy had that box stuck on his head, wouldn't let anybody get near him. There he is. And finally, the volunteers and animal control officers with the City of Mobile Animal Services as well as Mobile County Shelter got together. You guys used barricades from Mardi Gras and basically roped off or barricaded off part of the woods so you could get him. Yeah, so, it, and, and as we discussed last time, it was, it was a huge operation that uh, required the involvement of several different people from the vet's offices to the county, to our volunteers, to public works with the city of Mobile. And uh, I think we brought out, you know, roughly 50 barricades that were used at Mardi Gras. It was perfect timing. Mardi Gras was ending, so right. we just took them from there and, and took them to where he was. And we were able to essentially use them to build a pen around where he was staying and, uh, that's how we managed to funnel him into an area to get the box off his head. So he was on straight hold, but no one claimed him. So that's why he's going home with you again. You helped rescue him. And I think we have some video of Bear meeting your crew at your yeah. house. That's absolutely precious. There he is. How'd they do? They've done fantastic. My smaller dog was terrified. She'd never seen a dog this size before. <laughs> But Bear's, his behavior, his temperament is just unbelievable, you know, for a big dog, he just, he chills out, um, he loves the other dogs in the house, but, you know, the reason, one of the reasons we've done this was we wanted to keep Bear close to the community, because there was, it was more than just the shelters involved in catching Bear, you know, the, the community were, like, concerned about him as well, so we want to keep him close to the rescuers who uh -huh. were involved in that and have him easily accessible to the community as well. He was alone for so long and he'll never be alone again. So he'll spend his days at the city animal shelter mm -hmm. and then he'll go home with you at night. Yep. So there you go. If you'd like to go meet Bear, you can go to the city shelter and I'm just saying you may want to adopt a dog or cat while you're there. That's a really good idea. And he, we are all so glad. I think I can speak for everybody watching, all of us here in the station. We are so happy. Bear is getting his happy ending. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything you do. Thanks for Thank being you. here, Bear. Good job, man. <laughs>